Hi, and welcome back to the Tone Bar Channel. Okay, in today's episode, we have a little small three quarter inch stag. And I was going to straighten the strings out on it before I did the video, but but you know, y'all might get a kick out of watching that. That's a, the strings are strung on her like a nightmare. But here's something I want to po point out to you on this little jewel. See how the B string pin is coming up? Every time you try to tune it, the pin comes up a little bit. That's one of the one of the hundreds of problems with pins. If you don't get the ball in past the end of the pin, when you start tuning the guitar up, all the pins get pushed up. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to use the same strings. This is a... Um, It says handmade western guitar it's a sw201 three quarter inch okay so we're almost i'm gonna use this, this the strings are just a little faded so i'm gonna reach i'm just gonna straighten the strings out on the tuners and then tune it up and we're gonna play it like it is and then i'm gonna use the same strings and put a tone bar on it okay so here we go this may take a while so Hope you get your enjoys out of this. We need to take all these strings off because this is a nightmare. And I'll get all the strings off here and then I will clean it up just a little bit. Let's do the strings first. You can clean kind of the rust or the or the or that dullness off string just by steel wool in it a little bit all right so we got that we got those cleaned up just a little bit and this is a nightmare all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to give ourselves just enough string to to string it back right like look like they use the whole string okay so we got that off This is the hard part about using strings that that's already been on there. They're all they're all bent. It's like trying to mess around with a bunch of springs that are all compressed. Okay. Like I said, just take off enough string. Okay, before we go any farther. While we're here, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the Tone Bar channel, and the Tone Bar is a new system and method for putting strings on your guitar. They're nine bucks plus a couple bucks for shipping, and when you buy one, you get the instruction sheet. It tells you how to put them in. You get a sticker for your guitar case, and then you get the patented Tone Bar. This is a, you can't go to Hobby Lobby, you can't go to Lowe's and buy this. This is a proprietary piece of metal I have made for me, for the Tone Bar, and uh, it's made, these are made on a, on a CNC bending machine. And each one is perfect. The, the, the quality is, cons is consistent. It's, it's the, the very first tone bar I sold is the same one I'm selling today. Exact same material. It's the right size. It's the right uh, material. And it's, it, is, it creates the, the right amount of sonic coupling or acoustic coupling to the bridge plate to allow the top of the guitar to vibrate to make a sound better. Okay, so we're gonna put this tone bar and this little stag guitar. So let's get back, throw that star, sorry about the commercial. This is sponsored, all these are sponsored by Tone Bar because this is the Tone Bar channel. Okay. The reviews on eBay are fantastic. If you have an acoustic guitar and you're, and you're skeptical about, you know, this new it's this is not a new this is not this is not out there it's in there it's in there it's not 
This is this is physics based. This is just contact area. Physics, man. Come on now. All right. The feedback is incredible. Uh, people are calling me when they get them after they install them in their guitars. Um, because they, they can't believe that some such a simple little device uh, gets them the results that they're getting. But the but the uh, the reason that they're getting the results, it's the method that the strings are mounted. It's a different method. It's a better method. It's not an archaic, over a hundred year old. Um, way of doing things, you know. Sometimes, like a lot, a lot of comments I've had on on this channel is a lot of times the simplest ideas are the best. Sometimes the simplest ideas are what are what really, you know, what really does the deal. Okay, these strings are a nightmare. Okay, so if you got a tone bar, I'm sure you're glad you bought it. If you haven't got a tone bar, you need to get one. Um, I'm trying to get them into um, uh, the, the stores, but like I said, I've called all the major manufacturers and nobody's gotten back with me yet. So I'm trying to get them available as many places as 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 you know, as many places as I can, being one guy with one camera and one channel, and I'm getting a little help. There's a there's a nice lady on uh, on YouTube. Her name's Cindy, and uh, she's got a a YouTube channel called no Notes and Notations, and she's a pretty good picker. But she's got a tone bar and two of her guitars. And um, if you watch the videos, I, I, you know, she does them before and after. I'm going to do this before and after here, but after, unless it's, it's just, it's really unnecessary to do the before and after because the after is so much better. It's almost a waste of your time to, uh, To hear it before, I don't want to hear what it sounded like before. I want to hear what it sounds like now. I'm, I'm here. I'm about to hear now, not, not the, not the, the past. You know, your guitar. You can always go back to it sounding bad, but unless you get a tone bar, you won't know what your guitar really sounds like because it, it really does. It activates the top of your guitar. All right, so this is going to be enough string here on this. That's going to be enough here, too. Okay. All right, now we got all the strings off. Let's shine up our, our little brass frets. This is one of those little cheap guitars with the brass frets on it. We'll just clean it up. And then we'll use our... Uh, Little bit of lighter fluid. The head sock was just real dirty. So we'll use a little lighter fluid and clean it up. I'm not gonna polish it. It's just a it's just a this guy's backup guitar. And all you string break guys, I have never broke a string with a tone bar. I got a tone bar in every guitar I got that and that's kinda why the the con my 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 videos are kind of spaced out because I've already put a, get, a tone bar on my guitars and it's not time for new strings yet. But the video that I did on the Martin kit where I re, redid the strings on it, it's that's been six months and the Martin kit is ready for a new set of strings. And uh, that's coming soon too. Like I said, we got a four string bass coming and a, 
in another video about a, a real cheap plywood guitar that I'm anxious to do. Okay. Now we're going to, have to pull these pins out of here to make make sure we get these pins in here right. Because these pins ain't been they weren't put in here right. So what you got to do is you got to make sure you get the get the ball into the string past the These are the, these are the pain in the ass to mess with. If you get the ball in down in the middle of the hole, then the string wants to come up. You gotta get the you gotta get the ball in past the. All right, that looks like it's in pretty good, but this is the the bad boy that's causing all the trouble here. I don't know what in the hell it's hooked to. It was all, it was all over that way somewhere. I don't know how in the hell it got over there. But see, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the point. That's the point of the, one of the points of the tone bar. Look at the end of that. It's all fucked up. See that? You have no idea when you're putting pin, strings on with a, with a, with a, with a pin, you have no idea where that ball end is at. It's just in there. Just like I keep saying, helter skelter. You got to put the ball in down in there. And if you don't get it in there, right, it's just, it's constantly slipping. It's constantly slipping. All right. That one's, that one's okay. All right, it's constantly slipping, never finally getting contact after a couple of weeks of playing the guitar and eh, 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 the ball in sliding up to the pin. With a tone bar, all the strings are lined up like they were wound on the machine. They come straight up through the through the pin holes over the bridge, make solid contact with the top of your guitar, and you can repeat that time after time because of the tone bar. Okay, let's string this bad boy up, back up. And tune it up. I don't get all my stuff caught in my. Okay, back to the guitar. All right, we got our. You know, it's just. And for people that that don't know and are not that good at at at, at um. Putting strings on a guitar, the tone bar is almost a foolproof method where the strings will be on there the same every time. My glasses keep falling off. I don't wear glasses, I just need these little readers. Now the guy on this said it sounded okay, but it's gonna sound a lot better with a tone bar in it. Like I said, I'm gonna use the same strings because these strings didn't seem that they didn't look that old and they don't look they don't look all that messed up. I go around the top first and then just spool it down. too much on. Alright. Like I said, uh, if I had some fancy editing machine where I could cut out all this all this uh, fluff out of the middle it would be a lot better, but you know, it gives me a chance to talk to you. 
Um, I still don't understand. I have had 180,000 views on my YouTube channel. And I've only sold 1,200 of these. Buy one today. Quit. Get off the fence. Okay. Also, on my eBay, in my eBay store where I sell the tone bars, I also have uh, T-shirts, uh, string packs. I got Diodarios, some Martins, and some Elixirs. And uh, you get a T-shirt, a tone bar, and a tone bar bending tool, and a new pack of strings. It's like a restring pack. So you can have a T-shirt like this. I had these made. And then, uh, you know, you can buy some merch and support support what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to I'm trying to make everybody's guitar sound better. And I ain't got time. To put a tone bar in everybody's guitar in America. Somebody else has got to do it. I've got four dealers now and they're doing it. And I, I thank them. My, the, my dealers are um, uh, Upper Room Music in Owensboro, Kentucky. Um, he's a very knowledgeable um, guy and he works there with his son. And, and his son seems to, is, is not, doesn't seem like the son's a great kid and they they make a great team over there so if you if you want a tone bar and you don't want to go through ebay call up upper room music in Owensboro and they'll get you one they'll send you one also in kentucky is a uh, a little uh a little town called henderson and and there's a there's a little music store downtown called abba music and they carry them and uh they've sold several and if you're in the Henderson area, you can have uh, Abba's put one in for you. If you're in Evansville, there is a dealer over there called uh, the Musician's Den. He is a dealer, and he carries them. He'll put one in for you. There is a dealer in in New England somewhere. I I can't remember where it's at. It's 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 way up by Boston Way, and uh. He's a dealer. And then there's a, also a dealer in Cathedral City, California. And uh, I've sent a lot of these to California. A lot of them to California. Oregon, San Diego, um, just all over the place. Seattle, Washington. And a lot of these guys are calling me and going, man... One old guy called me from Texas. He goes, I just wanted to talk to the inventor. He goes, that's the damnedest thing I've ever seen. He goes, dude, um, I want some. And he bought some, and I sent them to him. And he loves them. He said, that, it, he goes, my guitar never sounded that good before. It's got, it's, it's, it adds a clarity. Here, you know, here's what the, the consensus is from all of the purchasers who have actually installed them in their guitar. They said they get a little more volume. Uh, they get more sustain. They get uh, clarity of the notes. Uh, it, it makes the back, the top, and the neck all vibrate. It's almost like the guitar, when you play a chord... You hear all the little overtones and all the subtleties of the note that you that you wouldn't hear because the string never had that the string never had that much contact before until now. Now it's got the proper contact. Okay, that was a tone bar vibrating on the top. So the tone bar vibrating the top, the top was vibrating the tone bar. It was just laying there. Okay. My damn glasses would stay up. Okay, we're getting down. We're coming down the home stretch. For all you horse racing fans out there. All right, now we're going.
All right, so some guys, another thing about the tone bar is See that? A pin is starting to come up. I didn't get the damn thing done in there right. All right, let's tune this baby up. Always up to standard. Stag, cut them ears off there so it don't look like my stuff is junk. Okay. There's the little stag. The strings on there with the pins. set up but we're just, we're just going for the tones today this thing is not I don't know if the strings are slipping or slipping up the neck off the off the off of the uh, pins or see if we can play pinball wizard on this one.
thin 46 millimeter pick. Okay. All right, that took. Okay, it took 30 minutes to do that. So I'm running out of time here. This has been 26 minutes. This is gonna be part one of the stag. Okay, so that was part one. Turn the video off now. Um, there's not enough time. I'm gonna come back, come right back with 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 uh, with uh, video number two, where we take the the strings out and install the tone bar. So this is this is the the first video. I'm not gonna change nothing. All I'm gonna do is stop it. It's gonna be part one. Part two's coming right after this. So. So stay tuned, same bad time, same bad channel. Uh, thank you for watching and take care of those that you love.